Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Cambridge Institute of Technology in Bangalore. It's called CIT Bangalore and I'm going to discuss about the management quota fee structure for Cambridge, right? So before that, you know, Cambridge uh, admission process is open for 23-24 batch and they have basically two campuses. One is called CIT Main Campus in Kerpuram. The second one is CIT North Campus. So you can see the address here. And this is the picture of the main campus, CIT main campus in Kerpuram, and that this is the one in North North Campus in North Bangalore. So before going to the fees part of it, so these are the different uh, programs which are available. So highest numbers of seats are available in three branches, which is Computer Science, Information Science, and Electronics, which is the 180 seats, and then there is a you know B Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning 60 seats, which started recently, and uh, then you have core branches like Triple E electrical electronics that is mechanical and civil each of them having 60 seats and apart from this uh, engineering branches they have masters in engineering which is for one branch which is mtech in computer science where 18 seats are available and it's also 10 year old program and they do also offer the mba and mca programs right so first course all the engineering courses are admission is through kct mode of admission comet k uh, as well as the management quota for the MTech program, it is through PGCET exam and similarly for MBA and MCA, all of them for PGCET exam. Now talking about the fee structure through different you know admission process, right? So first you see the through KCET exam, right? Which is for the government quota for the candidates from Karnataka domicile. So for them, the one year fees is 1,5340. And this is the last year fees, so you can expect you know around a, a 10 percent increase on that. Similarly, for admission through Comed K quota, which is a national level exam, for fees is like one lakh seventy eight thousand three forty, and this is quite lower than the regular fees for you know different Comed K colleges, which will be around two lakh fifty thousand. So it's available at lower fees, and you can go for through Comed K. And the next option is for the management quota. So this is also last year's fee. So you can increase to be increased by 10 to 15 percent this year. So fees is like two lakh rupees per year for management quota. So this is a decent option which you can go, and it's uh, like eight lakhs current fees, and you can expect 10 to 15 percent increase in the management quota also for the next year. Now moving forward. Now talking about the other programs like so they have MBA and MCA program as I mentioned and it is through PGCET for the Karnataka domicile. So if you are going for the government seat which is for the Karnataka students fees will be like 58,470 plus 20,000. So approximately it will come around 70,000 to uh, sorry 80,000. So 80,000 per year for government quota seats which is for Karnataka students and this is for both MBA and MCA. If you are going through management quota, so fees will be 1,50,000 per year. So two year fees for management quota will be like 3 lakhs, right? Now talking about the other fee structure uh, for MTech programs, again through PGCET for Karnataka based residents, it will be like 68,470 plus 20,000, approximately 90,000 per year. But for the MTech for the uh, outside Karnataka students, it will be like 1,50,000 for management quota. So 150 plus 150, so approximately 3 lakhs will be there for management quota, uh, you know, PGCT, MTech fees. So these are overall, you know, I have given the data from the government's quota seats plus, uh, you know, management quota. That's all. And thanks for watching. And please do subscribe channel to get similar important fees details for, and placements review and complete end-to-end uh, -end information about all the colleges in Karnataka. Take care and bye.